Hey everybody, this is Steve. First of all, I want to thank you for all the hits and positive comments for my first DMX simple programming tutorial. I really appreciate it. And in that video, we learned about DMX uh, controllers. This is a Chauvet Obey 40. And we learned about fixtures, which is the name for lights. And uh, we learned that lights are chained together, daisy chained together with DMX cable, which you see here. And we're going to continue now adding four lights to the setup. And each of these lights has a starting DMX address. And these in particular are 1, 17, 33, and 49. And those are predetermined by the Chauvet Obey 40. It has predetermined starting addresses for each fixture. It's just the way that it's set up. You have to program your lights to match it. And it's really easy uh, programming the lights. Every fixture is different, but like on this, you just go up and down until you hit the exact address channel. So it's really simple. So once we've got it set up, we've got four fixtures. And now we're just going to go through and we're going to program some scenes uh, so we can do something with the scenes. Because then we're going to get to chases again and uh, eventually how we can control them. So, with the Chauvet, you have to go into program mode, and there you hold down this button, you have to hold it for three seconds, this little light flashes, now you're in program mode. Once you're in program mode, you pick the fixture that you want to program. So, I'm going to program fixture one, I'm going to press one, and this is R, uh, red, green, blue, RGB. So, I'm going to make fixture one red. I'm going to go to fixture two and I'm going to make it green and then I'm going to go to fixture three. I'm going to make it blue and then I'll go to fixture four and I'll make it uh, I'll make it blue as well. And now I'm going to hit add, which is this button here, and I'm going to hit scene one. And now it's recorded as scene one. I think I hit scene one first, but it doesn't matter. You hit it at the end. That's how you program it in. So now we will program scene two. We're just going to try and program uh, a few scenes here just so we have them to work with. So. I'm going to turn on all four fixtures, and I'm going to do this. This is going to turn them all off, because when you have all four fixtures on, they're all controlled together by the red, green, and blue channel. So to make this one simpler and faster, on this one, with all four of them turned on, we'll make them all red, and then we're going to hit Add, and we're going to hit Scene 2 should be programmed in. We'll see if this worked when we're all done. Uh, turn those off. Then we will, okay, I'm going to leave them all on. I'm going to program this one to be all blue. And we will put add scene three. And then we will program one more scene. So this one will make it a little bit different. This one just so it's obviously different when we're going through chases. We'll make this one fixture one and fixture four. And we'll make that three on one and four. So we will hit add. And we'll make that scene four. Now they should all be programmed in. Now we're going to hold down program again until the light goes out. And what the Chauvet does is every time you come out of program mode, it automatically goes into blackout mode. So you have to hit the blackout bottom button at the bottom. Now we're out of backout mode. Now we're going to turn the fixtures off. And if everything worked correctly, there's scene one. There's scene two. There's scene three. And there's scene four, and it worked. And okay, so now really simply, we have four scenes programmed in. 
And now we're going to put these four, uh, four scenes into a chase. And a chase is just a series of scenes that when you turn it on, it goes in sequence and you can control the speed and the transition time between the uh, different scenes. And you can also trigger a chase with audio and um, MIDI, which we'll learn later. So in order to do that, what we do is we go back into program mode, holding down the program switch, the little light blinks. And now we're going we're gonna to program this first chase, chase one. We're going to add chase one. Here's the chase buttons. Now we're going to pick a scene. And they can be in any order you want. So just to be different, let's pick scene four first. And then we're going to hit this add button uh, two times. That's the way that this controller works. So we hit it once, twice. And that's the first scene in the chase. Now we are going to pick another scene. And we'll just go in reverse order. So this is scene three. We hit add two times. And just to be all out of sequence, we'll hit one next. Scene one, hit this twice. And then the last scene in our chase will be scene two. And we'll hit this twice again. Now that should have programmed the chase. We're going to hold down program again to come out of program mode. You've got to hold it down. Automatically goes into blackout mode. So you've got to hit the blackout switch again. And now, in order to run the chase, you have to hit this button down here that is auto. It says auto delete, um, that deletes for another function. But it puts it into auto mode. When you put it into auto mode, now it's chasing through that sequence, uh, sequence of scenes that we put in, and you can control the speed here, so you can make it really fast, or you can make it slower, and you can also, as it's cycling through, this is the fade time, so when you move this up, this will slowly fade between uh, each one of those scenes. So the four scenes that we programmed were all in bank one. And the Chauvet 40 actually has 30 banks. And I think you can put eight scenes in each of 30 banks. So you can program a lot of scenes. And so that was all in bank one. Now I'll show you how to go to bank two. Uh, you, there's just a bank up and bank down switch. So this little number here shows that we're in bank one. I'm going to go to bank two. Uh, we're going to go to program mode because we're going to quickly program uh, a second bank of scenes. Uh, so I can show you what you So that worked. So now, the last thing I'm going to show is you can make a chase out of banks instead of out of individual scenes. It lets you make chases a lot faster. And if you have all these uh, scenes set up in banks, it's just an easy way to make more complicated chases. In a more so going back to program mode, holding the program mode switch, blinking light, we're in program mode. We're going, because we're going to program a second chase, we're going to hit chase two. And now we're going to pick which bank we want to put in. Right now it's on bank one. We'll do it in reverse order again, just to uh, show that it can be done. So I'm going to go bank up. Now we're going to add bank two to this chase. So to do that, you hold bank copy and add at the same time. Here's bank copy. And here's add. We're going to hold them at the same time. It's added it in, hopefully. And now we will go to bank one. So it right here, bank one. And we will hit bank copy and add at the same time. Now we will go out of programming mode by holding down the program button. 
three seconds. We're in blackout mode. Get blackout to come out of blackout. Now we're going to hit run, or we're going to hit auto. And we'll hit chase two. And now we've done it. It's the, the two banks, it's put them together into one chase, chase two. And with that, we can control the speed and the fade time between each one of the scenes. So that's a little uh, bit more. It's still keeping it pretty simple, with, but this is actually a pretty simple controller. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show how you can control it with audio and with MIDI. So that's coming up next. All right, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.